With USC having the fourth best transfer class, including 11 defensive transfers, how is it possible that this USC team is so bad this year? Even though Lincoln Riley has five new starters and five new backups, it all comes down to one thing. Scheming and game planning matter so much in college football. Although I have not inserted the Oregon loss into this chart, this is every single loss that Lincoln Riley has had as a head coach. You can see, even going back to his Oklahoma days, that their team is more than capable of putting up all the points in the world. However, they cannot stop other high echelon teams from scoring. And this year just proves it. Even after week 11 against Oregon, right now they are sitting at the 124th total defense in the country. Further breaking that down, they're the 120th scoring defense, 115th rushing defense, and the 119th passing defense. I am pulling this chart from our Atlas College Football Playoff Index, but this is just a good indicator of what USC needs to be if they want to be a national championship team. No team in the College Football Playoff era has won the national championship without a top 15 offense and a top 30 defense. And if we are talking about just the college football playoff, no team has made it without a top 35 offense and a top 60 defense. The more of the story is, unless Lincoln Riley adopts a complimentary complete team like a Georgia, Oregon, or even a Penn State for that matter, they will not win a national championship with this current scheme.